Crop marketing specialist Kim Anderson joins us now. Kim, uh, funds had a little bit of a pessimistic outlook. Uh, going forward, things might have changed a little bit. Well, if you look uh, back a couple of months, uh, the funds were short uh, somewhere around 650 million bushels. In the, the last couple of months, they bought 1.3 billion bushels of uh, wheat. They're now, if you look at the hard wheat, the uh, Chicago soft wheat and the spring wheat contracts, they're probably long around 650 million bushels. So they've changed position. They're, you could classify it as optimistic, but I'd say it was cautiously optimistic at the present time. So what's been the price reaction? Well, if you look at the cash prices, uh, you know, go back to when harvest began in Oklahoma, somewhere around 375, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, we peaked out on July the 11th at uh, around $4.80, hit $5 in a couple locations there. And they backed off about 50 cents now to 425 to 430. Uh, you look at that September uh, Kansas City uh, contract or KC contract, uh, we're right at $5. Uh, and if we pop that five, then we'll probably go on down. But, uh, you know, the prices are normally like a pendulum. If they're going up, they go up a little too high and they have to back off. If they're going down, they go down too far and they have to back off. So we, we saw that pendulum swing. So it, why did that pendulum swing? Why didn't that price rally continue? Well, if you look at the negative factors that's going in the market, we had the rally because, of, well, the loss of the spring wheat crop in uh, northern United States and, and, can and Canada, shortage of uh, protein wheat. Uh, our, pro our wheat's a good milling wheat, but it's short protein. And so there's some negative factors in the market. If you look at foreign wheat production, yeah, we, we've got... Uh, we had 2.3 billion bushels of uh, wheat production in the United States last year, just under 1.8 billion this year. Uh, you look at the hard red winter wheat, we had over a billion bushel production last year, uh, less than 800 million this year. So we're lower there, but if you look at the foreign crop, it's almost uh, equal to the record uh, foreign wheat crop that we had last year. And I think the funds and, and the markets looking at this excess amount of wheat, we got lots of wheat, we just don't have milling quality wheat and that's spelled out by protein. You know, going forward, wheat's in the bin, producers are, you know, it's already time to start thinking about next year's wheat crop. What's some things that producers should start thinking about? What got us that dollar and a half price increase this year? We was talking about it this time last year. We said, if you produce a quality product, prices will go up. We got a product that, that's good milling quality. It's got good test weight. It gives them good flour yield. We just need protein. And we got a buck and a half increase in our prices from that. If we'd have had protein, we'd have had another oh, 75, 80 cent price increase. Looking forward to 18, produce a quality product, get them test weight, get them good milling characteristics, and get them protein, and you're gonna have $5 or six, $5.50 to $6 wheat next year. As we said, if they'll produce a quality product, they'll have a price next year. All right, thanks, Ken. We'll see you next week.